Hey, what is up guys? Waken95 here, back with another video, and today I have another mail call to do for you guys, and I think this one is mail call number 17 from Ringside Collectibles. Um, now, I already opened this package just to see that it was the right package, because um, I was a little bit doubtful, um, just because of the whole delivery date and um, other packages that I had coming through, but want to make sure that this was what i thought it was so now it's here um i'm eager to show you guys and i'm eager to to do a full in-depth review of all of these uh elites that i've been waiting for for a while um so be on the lookout for that so without further ado let's um let's get this open Alright guys, and this is the WrestleMania 38 um, Elites featuring AJ Styles, the first one. This is from the Boneyard match with The Undertaker. It's a pretty sick figure. Um, soft goods uh, shirt, which I barely noticed. Um, yeah, and you get a Build-A-Figure, Vince McMahon right there. I'm super excited for this. Build the figures. I think I. It's something that's kind of a, a bit underrated in my opinion. And I hope that they make them more with like major pay per view sets like WrestleMania, uh, Royal Rumble, which they're already making that, uh, Jimmy Hart. Uh, and that's the first Royal Rumble build a figure because the rest, the, the last Royal Rumbles, they didn't even have a build a figure. So hopefully they continue on with the Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, maybe the SummerSlam. Since it's also a major pay per view, and maybe the Survivor Series, um, build a figure would be nice. Um, yeah, so I forgot to show you guys. This is Shawn Michaels from the match against The Undertaker at WrestleMania. I'm not sure if it was the first match or the second match they had at WrestleMania, but this is the Michaels. Next up, the Bret Hart, which believe it or not, first Bret Hart that I um that I have elite. Actually, I don't even have any other Bret Hart's in my collection that I can think of. I'm close to getting the Survivor Series. Bret Hart is the only one that I was, like, hunting down because I have the other three. Um, I missed out on the Goldberg 2-pack. I didn't get the uh, Ringside Collectibles one, the exclusive, which I should have. But now I got a Bret Hart in my collection. I don't even have a Bret Hart in my Jax figures. Never had. I always wanted that deluxe Bret Hart. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Um, there might be a re-release from the Royal Rumble one, I want to say. But when we do the um, death reviews, um, we'll, we'll, we'll see. In comparisons, you know, so... There's a Stone Cold. In the box, we also get the pamphlet. Now, this is a one-page pamphlet. We used to get a little booklet with a bunch of elite uh, figures and accessories and ringside exclusives and all that. Now, it's just one pamphlet. Everything is just here. They are missing the accessories. Elite 90, which I do need that Randy Orton and Jey Uso for sure out of the wave. I need a whole uh, 91. On match series 2, I need that Sting, Santana, and Ortiz, and the Wardlow for sure. Because if you guys know, I'm not collecting all the unmatched figures, only the ones that I really want. And I am collecting all the Rival series, and I do have all of these guys except for the Lance. And by the time this video goes up, I believe I have made a review and, and a full in depth review of all these figures except for the Lance. If this video goes up and I get the Lance um, before, then yeah. I mean, um, after, then I'll probably have to uh, somehow make this work. Uh, here you have the uh, AEW Authentic Scale Ring, which I, I'm planning to get. I already have this one. This is the one that came with the Kenny Omega. This is the War Games, Britt Baker, Yushin Thunder Liger, 
And you got the Ultimate Edition Kane and Undertaker, which Target has been getting the Canes, and I really want the Undertaker. And I also get, um, I also got a few of those at Target that I need to do a review of. Then Kane included, I do want another one to keep mock. Um, top picks, I also have that coming soon. Top picks, Jeff Hardy. Top picks, uh, Goldberg. I can't find the Roman. I checked the Target uh, app. And Roman is not there, so I don't know if they're if they have them in 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 the back or they don't have them in the app yet, or they're not receiving them. They didn't order them. I don't know what the whole deal is with Target and not having Roman or an Undertaker Ultimate in the in the system, which is kind of weird because if you guys look at it, we got Stone Cold, we got uh, Brick Flair Ultimates all in one, we got The Rock, we got John Cena. We've been getting the pairs, you know, and it's just odd because now we just got a Kane. But no Undertaker. And we got a top picks. Jeff Hardy and Goldberg. But no Roman. Kind of weird. But. Anyways guys. WrestleMania 38. I hope they do continue going with the whole build up figure. Because I really love the idea of like you know. Getting all of these figures down to get one figure. Um, and you know. Build it basically. Um, we do have the Royal Rumble. Um, elites that have the build a figure Jimmy Hart, which I only have the Biggie and the Yokozuna. I don't know what's going on with that set either. I can't find them at Targets. I've only found those two, and I got lucky enough to get the Yokozuna because I think out of the set that one's going to be the the most difficult one to find, and then maybe the Earthquake. Um, but I don't have the Earthquake or the Dakota Kai. Let me know in the comments if you guys seen those in your stores or anything, and then hit me up. I might be interested in getting a uh. Uh, Dakota Kai and Earthquake if I can't find them, but I do want another Yokozuna to keep in the in the box because that one's pretty dope um, I just wish they could make you know build the figures in every major pay-per-view set basically we got the WrestleMania 36 um, Set that you, if you if you completed that one you build a uh, dangerous Danny Davis and that set included Mick Foley Booker T uh, Kofi Kingston and Matt Hardy and uh, WrestleMania 37 which was last year um, that one had a big pet warmer which was China uh, and then you got Shawn Michaels you got Edge and you got Goldberg and if you build that if you got the whole set you build the uh, Paul Ellering and Paul Ellering came with Roku Roku Roko, right? It's like like ventriloquist dummy type thing. Um, which I guess it's kind of an extra figure. But it's not really a figure. But, you know, sort of is. Whatever. But, yes. Paul Earl Ring was the last year's uh, Build-A-Figure WrestleMania set. And Dangerous Danny Davis was prior. And now we're getting Build-A-Figure Vince McMahon. in the black suit. Um, if you guys remember... There was an elite Vince McMahon that came with this, this mic as well, I believe. It was a flashback. And maybe in that set. No, I don't think in that set it was a build a figure either. But, And I think prior to Dangerous Danny Davis, the last um, build a figure was Corporate Kane. But that was like back when Toys R Us was still around. And I think that's why they stopped doing build a figures on their sets because... Uh, T Toys R Us was uh was out of business and everything, so they really didn't have like a set to like have an exclusive um figure to find, you know, type of thing. So, so that's why I think they stopped making them. And then uh, Dangerous Danny Davis was was introduced. But speaking of Corporate Kane, I do have um the build a figure arms for that corporate cane because i got the daniel bryan from that wrestlemania set which i think that one also included undertaker randy orton and someone bray wyatt i don't remember exactly i just remember i got that daniel bryan so that was uh the arms there and then i also have the lower half of jj dylan build a figure which this one came with the rick flair um flashback series basic um, I think in that set was like Booker T Sting and uh, someone else I can't remember, but I do have that figure mock. I just didn't bring out, and I do have one loose because I found this one at TJ Maxx for like five bucks. Just a steal. 
And last but not least, I do have the Paul Heyman Build-A-Figure head. And I did have the torso because it came with the head and the torso. And that was on the Brock Lesnar uh, Toys R Us exclusive um, pay-per-view line. I don't remember what it was called. But Brock Lesnar came with the head and the torso. And the torso, um, I I don't know what I did with it, honestly. But I took off the, the suit jacket. And if you look at my Triple H all the way over there, he does have that suit jacket that belonged to Paul Heyman, so I don't know what happened to it. I gotta really look for that figure, um, that torso, I mean, so probably do that now, see if I can find it somewhere in the fodder, but I need to find the torso so I can make a custom Paul Heyman, so I want to use him in the fed, but anyways, guys, that was it. A little bit of a rant there, not like a rant, but kind of an information about these whole build of figures, which I do, um, which I do want to get that Jimmy uh, Hart built so I can uh, display him pretty good and everything. And I do want to get another Yokozuna like I mentioned. I probably will pick up another set of WrestleManias uh, down the road. Hopefully they start hitting uh, shelves as well like how the uh, last year's uh, Paul Ehring one did. The Goldberg. I even found some of these uh, Build-A-Figure Elites at TJ Maxx. So... I found the Goldberg, but I didn't really pull the trigger. But I know they were hitting TJ Maxx stores after a while. So hopefully these get um in the stores, and I'll probably if I if I if I only find a couple, and if I do manage to pick up another Bret Hart, that'll be great. I don't really mind the other ones since I do have a lot of these. Like I have a couple Shawn Michaels already, a lot of AJ's, a couple Stone Cold's already in my collection. So the one that I would really go for would be the Bret Hart. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow my Instagram. Um, I have a lot of uh, videos lined up. I already mentioned a couple. I do have Elite 88 Roman Reigns and uh, Elite 88 Real Mysterio as well to do a review of. Um, oh, I I'm trying to get uh, the rest of the Legends 13 because I do have an extra Hurricane. So I need another Bob Orton. I need another Jake. And a Triple H so I can open them and do a full dip review. Which is something that I've never done in my channel with any Legend series. All of the Legends that I've gotten. I've um, just completed my set and put them away. I never did anything with them as far as a video. Um, I do have a couple of those for sale. So I'll be doing a video on my figures that I have for sale. I'll be selling on my Instagram and maybe possibly my future um, McCarty page. But stay tuned for more. Follow my Instagram and you know subscribe like comment and i'll see you in the next one